Hello, sweet viewers, and welcome to Moth Cub U. That's Moth Cub University, the educational program here at Moth Cub, which will teach you everything you need to know about life, living, and being alive, and also living. Make sure your ears are wound properly and listen tight as I guide you in today's enlightening lesson. This time, I am going to be teaching you how to crush anxiety like little bug. First of all, what is anxiety? Anxiety is a cryptid, much like Bigfoot, Mothman, or me. Much as Bigfoot loves stomping his huge and impressive feet into the mud, Mothman loves, I don't know, being a Mothman, and I love watching documentaries about Stock, Aitken, and Waterman and weeping because Rick Astley's town of origin is otherwise only well known for being the first place someone was killed by a train, and I just found this out from a Stock, Aitken, and Waterman documentary and I'm so happy. <laughs> <coughs> Anxiety derives enjoyment from making you feel like you're about to step on a plug with your entire body and brain at any moment, even though you don't even own plugs, which in itself is kind of weird, why don't you own plugs? Never mind, the point is, anxiety is a nasty little worm, but fortunately I have some tips and tricks that will help you to crush this tragic creature and possibly have it arrested. Tip 1. Ah! The first step you must take is to startle anxiety. This can be tricky, because anxiety's modus operandi is usually to startle you and then just keep startling you all of the time constantly somehow by, sorry to get into scientific jargon here, strangling your hormones and squeezing them into all of the different parts of your body like a deflated sausage. But if you simply start screaming with enough sudden force, you can actually scare anxiety, and anxiety may scuttle away like a confused crab for a moment. This is a crucial first step. Always remember, anxiety can scare you, but you can scare it right back. Tip 2. Lie down in the middle of the day, take a big nap. Another good tip is to lie down and have a sleep. You can do this at any time, at the post office, outside in the rain, or perhaps in the middle of a speech if you really want to show your power level. Just remember that in almost any moment of your life, you could, theoretically, be taking a nap. And anxiety hates that. That gets anxiety frothing at the mouth, just like me when I'm not playing a rousing game of Triple Triad in Final Fantasy VIII, the greatest video game on this earth. So have a little lie down, focus on the different parts of your body and how they feel when you are not involved in video games, and feel bliss melt upon your body like a heated cheese slice as you imagine the sweet warmth and relaxation of playing a video game or sending a tweet out into the world, enveloping your little body. Tip 3. Chomp Anxiety after you have put some methods for shocking and alarming anxiety, and also resting your beautiful body into action, after you've tried those out and practiced and realised that you can have a tasty dream about having a Shrek-flavoured milkshake which fills you with a calm you've never known, and after you've realised you can strike at least a little bit of fear into anxiety's sensitive tendrils, you'll be ready to take a little bite, to steal a little nibble of anxiety. Now, anxiety, like many entities, has a crunchy, thick exterior not unlike the crust of an overcooked pie. This can be tough to bite into while anxiety is strong and full of energy from drinking five cans of Monster Energy Drink, its beverage of choice, but once you have begun to weaken anxiety, its uncertainty will slightly soften its tough outer crust, and you will be able to chomp and nibble upon its evil body. There is no need to rush, but trust that your jaw can become more powerful and precise with each passing day. Guide your teeth through the outer layers of anxiety and discover the true weakness of anxiety's form. You are beginning to crush this demon and erode its form entirely. After a little chomping, you could try sitting back and watching an episode of Murder, She Wrote. The perfect reward. Tip 4. Enjoy the delicious taste of anxiety. Mmm. Not many people know this, but anxiety is actually a lot like a Kinder Egg. If you manage to break it in half, you can find a toy inside. That said, do not feel that you have to rush to get to the toy. 
Sometimes it's the reveal of the toy that turns out to be better than the toy itself, but having, inspecting, and dismantling a Kinder Egg is a layered experience, and just because getting to the toy is the key motivating factor, that doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy breaking off a piece of chocolate, and it doesn't mean it's bad to keep the toy a surprise for later, and put the Kinder Egg in the fridge because the chocolate started to melt and you feel a bit sick right now. Tip 5. Wear big good shoes, get good powerful shoe. You can also crush anxiety by physically standing on it, and if this is the case then you should at least wear appropriate footwear. Consider wearing some football shoes, some huge goth boots that weigh a lot and have cool spikes on them, or maybe just those comfy sketches that have memory foam in them that are kind of ugly but feel so good. Oh my god, ugh, so comfortable, it's like walking on a squishy mattress cloud. Ugh, my feet feel so good. Just, you know, wear some good shoes so that your feet feel good and you feel good, you know? Wear some kind of powerful shoes. Ultimately, there are a lot of different tips and steps and pieces of advice for crushing anxiety like the tiny little bug demon that it is, but this is just an introductory primer to mark the beginning of your studies here at Moth Cub U. Just remember, if nothing else, that anxiety is exactly like a hollow chocolate egg, and you've already gotten to the fundamentals of this complex, involved course. My next course intro video will be on how to ride Big Horse, so stay tuned for that and support me on Patreon or directly through BigHorse.com for extended course materials and an optional life advice leaflet. Your education is my big cash money, I mean, uh, um, bye!